Bish bash bosh, now we're off. So we are. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Fiona. We've got zero on the eyes right now, but we probably just jumped to four. Yeah, we'll second. just give them a, a couple of minutes to, to jump on. Um, I think I've still got a bit of a concussion, actually. Hmm. <laughs> so I've got a quite a big... Um, big, now heavy banging, was it? Head banging. Yeah. No, actually, it was a uh, week on Friday. I fell I've, backwards. I've got hair long enough to head bang now for the first time in my life. Oh, <laughs> look, Steve, some of it's been chopped off. All right. Well, I haven't chopped any of mine off. Well, it needed done, to be honest. So. I saw an ex colleague yesterday in, in town, well, in the high street. He's been a postie for the last six years since he retired. Fancy retiring after 30 years and then immediately becoming a postman. You know why that is? He's got an expensive wife and three children who are young. So, yeah, he probably needs to sub subsidise his pension. I'm just living frugally and you know, getting by, but I do not want to take on a no. bloody ground or something. I couldn't do it anyway. So. I was going to say, well, you couldn't anyway. Yeah. Um, that, that, would be like, that would be like me saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to become an um, outdoor activities instructor again. Yeah. It's never going to happen. We're in 30 seconds of the conversation starting. He reminded me that the hairdressers are along the high street have reopened. <laughs> uh, yes, they have. Oh, I better. Um... Yeah, I'm just anyway, giving um, notifications. For those that have tuned in, um, we are minus Scott tonight because he is pooly. Yeah, so you have two amigos instead of three. Hi, Ralph Tree. Hi, MSTV Studio, and hi, Debs. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing the usual 500 of 50p's and 500 of two pounds. And all we got on Tuesday, really, apart from the odd 50p, which was nothing special, I got one Olympic canoeing. So, that's all we've got to be today is one Olympic canoeing. So, hopefully, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, knew it would have. Excellent. I thought so. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll quickly pass that message on now. Yeah, to be fair, if it's, if it's recorded delivery, at very much more difference than a stamp. <laughs> Whereas if it's special delivery, normally safe. Hi, Ron. Yeah, thanks for the notification. I, I was just, funny enough, checking my emails anyway, and your, notif your notice came up a few seconds before my email landed. I managed to get five... Uh, of those, then I ran upstairs, changed the account into my son's name, and got another five. So happy days. Um, yeah, right. I've just sent him a message. Well, I've sent a message. Sue, Sue will probably pick the message up rather than Scott, because like I say, he's poorly. Um, yeah. But he'll be, he'll be over the moon to know that it's that it's turned up. Yeah, he frets a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he does. But um, in fact, we were like. Calm down, calm it will turn. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah. But he's a yeah. bit of a, um, he's a bit of a stick left time, is that what I mean? with me to replace it if necessary. I knew it wouldn't be necessary, but for his yeah. peace of mind, he wanted to be certain that we would replace it. So that was that was on the back burner if needed, but I knew they wouldn't lose us special delivery. Nope. Whereas recorded delivery, I found out to my home on many occasions, they don't really give a damn. It's a case of, yeah, just make a claim. Hang yeah. on, what about your service? Well, things get lost. Do you know how many pieces of mail we deal with every day? Yeah. That's not a point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we pay for it for a reason. Yeah, well, they just say, the difference is, if it's a stamp, you can claim up to 20 quid. If it's recorded, you can claim up to 50. So that's what you're paying for, 30 quid worth of insurance. <laughs> mm -hmm. But obviously, the um, the other one is up to five hundred pound. I don't think they want yeah. to pull out that kind of money. No, hell no, not really gonna help it. Right, nope. I'm gonna fiddle around. Well, and you all get confused, sure. and get disorientated by my camera. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly stop my camera whilst I move my camera about. Right there, we go. Now you want to the put him on? He disappeared. I only got one account, though, but not overly fussed, to be honest. Five is plenty. Hi, Katie. 
Yeah, well, I've only got the two accounts because I've, I needed them, oh, quite a long time ago. I got them and just never got a bit of change in my son's one. Whoops, did that wrong, oh. didn't you? Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. But you stopped messing with... Hang on, I've got to remove you and put you back again. There we are. <sighs> See, I'm getting there, getting there. Hey, it's not the dead guy. I know, but Scott will be proud that I worked out that I need to remove you and then put you back again. If you had to claim £500, I wonder if they would have agreed to give him 50 piece. <laughs> they might have. Uh, well, the thing is, it's only, only worth two quid. In which case, I'll say, fine, if it's only worth two quid, I'll have that two quid back. I don't want two pound refund. I want that coin. If you only reckon it's worth two quid, give me yeah. that coin. You find uh, me that coin. And then have some postal worker going through several thousand quid in order to find it. And then they'll think, oh, yeah, all right then. Here's 15. <laughs> all right. And I'm just, I'm just going to plug myself as well. Do these. Father's Day is coming up. Yeah. And I, for anybody who's using eBay, I thought that when the people yeah. were having conversations about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it on big screen. Oh, hang on. Hannah's technological side of things. Oh, man. Hang on. I know how to do it. Well, I did this before. There you go. Yeah. I've done it. Oh, <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> there we are. See? How good Thank is you. that? And this really is. Chocolate. Although double decker Mars Fudge and Galaxy, I got straight away, but the middle day, I'm still confused. That this one, yeah, this is from the blue band, blue ribbon. That's why, right? Cool, all right. And look, yeah, I thought I was bastard when you put it up. I really <laughs> did. <laughs> Not being funny, those would be good sellers. I would have thought, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Cornbill Flake, Maltesers, Not Too Sure, Dime, uh, Cadbury's Caramel, and Blue Ribbon again. Now I know what it is. T is a boost. Oh, yeah, of course it is. One of my favourites. Yeah, yeah. Those are. Yeah, so although it's coming up to Father's Day and these would be good sellers, I'm pretty sure if you did do the uh bar steward one as well that would probably be a good seller as well um we are gonna actually do chocolate boxes um so you'll find us on facebook and it's called the imagination station so i'm gonna put steve back up no hang on i know i know look yeah, okay. I see. i'm getting better at this yeah, ah, I see. You can tell I've just got Scott to all yeah, the yeah. um, my technology side. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that right. So here we go. We got seal bags. Uh, well, I can see Commonwealth Games are already. So obviously, you know what I want. So there's no point in me repeating it. But all we have to, in reality, to beat is one canoeing. And I'm pretty sure we should be able to beat that. Well, I sincerely hope so anyway. Ooh, that's a minion. Somebody commented that having the camera further away like it is now was better and easier for you lot as viewers. So I've done that now and last week, and I'll continue that way. There's, oh, there's the only one in the bag. What was the Commonwealth? Commonwealth. Glasgow. Thank you, Ron. There is, um, like I say, on the imagination station, there is a. Um, are you talking about her chocolate bars or her boobs? What are you on about there, Ron? Hey? The, they uh, look great. It's a little bit too the chocolate bar. That would be the chocolate bar. Um, okay. Well, yeah. Oh, the um, only one we never found last on Tuesday. That looks in absolutely fantastic condition for it like, to be a train station. Yeah. Oh, it's the only one we didn't find last Tuesday on Tuesday, but we found the first coin this one, Paddington at the station. And very good, Nick. And as I think is only fair, Hannah, I never mentioned it to you, but as 
Scott's feeling crap. I don't think we should run the competition today in regards no, to No, no, we'll not. We'll not. We'll be nice. Although telling him that he won all three games would probably cheer him up a bit. Telling oh, him that he won. lost all three games would probably make right. him feel a lot worse. Scott won all the games tonight, guys. All the games. Roger Bannister. Roger Bannister, formerly Mal. Oh, I can't go that way. Just confused me. Um, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got an Olympic. Oh, we got an Olympic. It is archery. Yeah, not in the best, Nick, but then again, I've got about 150 archery, so not the biggest issue. When I was buying in bulk a long time ago, when I was building up some stock and playing around, one particular person I was buying from, I bought about four sets of Olympic and then a big wadge of his spares, which were in full sets. <laughs> and out of that, there was like three of this, four of that, 20 of this, and there was about 70 or 80 arteries. Uh, and he said, you got this for cost, mate. I just want to get rid of so. <laughs> Oh, Brexit. That is Brexit. Bit of a crappy coin, and the more I look at it, the more I despise it. It's going to, I reckon, in years to come, that's going to be like Johnson's Dictionary because of the yeah. script. And, that. and once it gets tatty, right now it's shiny, but I reckon once it gets tatty, that'll be the end of that. And I still resent the Royal Mint, who are obviously staunch remainers because the, the day in question, they fleeced everybody who went to get the strike your own. And yep. the package of the Brexit is the worst packaging they've ever done. They put not, hardly anything in it. It was absolutely diabolical. The picture of the coin, the details, and the picture of the coin being held with, by somebody with a white glove. And that's about it. It was such a pants effort. They could have done so, so much better. They just, just could not be arsed by the looks of it. No, they couldn't. And yeah, on they opened a kind of midnight sort of thing and they went all the way through very quick tours. I.e., it wasn't a tour, you went straight to the stamp your own machine, and that was it. Uh, no kind of talk at the beginning, and yet you paid more for the tour, not less. Absolute madness. They basically had you from starting it, getting you strike your own, which you couldn't strike your own anyway because they didn't have time for that. You just basically got past two from a pal that they struck earlier uh, and then walked out again. You were into the kind of museum-y part within 15 minutes of arrival. Which normally takes about half an hour. Normally takes about nearly an hour with the talking involved in you, well, you know, talk say, the introduction in the little theatre mm, bit before you go oh, anywhere. Yes, I, forgot, I forgot about that a little bit. Yeah. So all, all of these bits were just totally missed out. You went straight to the machine, got passed to, and went, got kicked out into the museum part. They had tours like every 15 minutes or, or maybe it was even maybe quicker than that, but you were basically just running after each other. It's ridiculous. And then yeah, you... That was you because they wanted to get as many... Oh, yeah, milking. milking. As possible. Mm. Yeah, absolutely milking it. There's a Johnson's. And yes, there's a dictionary. Pretty crappy, but it means we fill that off. Uh, we got one Olympic. Oh, oh look. Commonwealth. Well, in fact, I had a quick look. I might want to restock on a few of them. So let's put that on top of the pile and keep this to one side. Um, but Another Johnson's and say, another dictionary. Heroic Axe. Is that not on the board? No, not Heroic Axe. So, is now. It sure is. Benjamin oh, Britten. Scott's favourite coin. <laughs> and he's got it. I'll save that and post it to him. <laughs> yeah. 
since you were poorly, we thought we would, we would send you something very nice in the post. <laughs> yeah. Something to, <laughs> to cheer you up. Yeah, something to um, uh, remind you of the hunt you weren't able to participate in. Here you are, Benjamin Britain. Because we are so kind. <laughs> Generous to a fault. A lot of 2019s in here, they're gleaming away. Another Brexit. Everyone there's a Brexit. You can spot that one a mile off. Yep. Oh, God, my back's aching already. Public there. libraries. Yep. Another one for the board. Yeah, well, we're moving on. Only a couple away from filling half the map. It took me football and triathlon. Now we've got a map filled. No, all right. <laughs> Maybe not. Would be nice. Yeah. A couple of cues in this bag, and I'll, I'll put them in different places. There you go. Yeah. Oh, didn't oh. see it at all. Didn't see it at all on Tuesday, and that's the only pattern we've seen so far tonight. And the very shiny at that. Yeah, and it is a slightly lower mintage than all the other ones. So, yeah, these these got to be nineteens. Are gleaming as hell. Those are. Well, I'm not sure how many bags we got left, but still a fair few. Who knows? Let's see how close we can get to filling. Oh, Matt, we took a rabbit. He never made an appearance last uh, hunt either. Seen that. Peter Rabbit 2016, and again, mm. like you say, quite shiny. Good nick. I do you like that one? That's my favourite. Potter. Uh, uh. And there's the medals. Heroic acts. Victoria so across the medals. Yep. That's easy for you to say. Yes. Ah. Oh. Another paddy at St. Paul's. Did anyone buy the Mr. Ben coins yet? No, no I have no, not. No, not at all. We're in touch with a badge, pal. Nope. I have got enough Guernsey coins which aren't all that popular. There's not many collectors for Guernsey and... I just can't be I wasn't bothered. really a fan of Mr. Ben. Oh, I did like Mr. Ben uh, compared to some of yeah. the crap we were showing. I remember one of the programs I hated more than anything else was We Were Having Custard. I just found the music irritating as hell. I thought the cartoonist was just cr crap as well. But I know you either love it or hate it. We were yeah. Having a bit like Barmite. Like, I weren't too keen on Willow the Wisp either. I remember. Yeah, I like Willow the Wisp. <laughs> I like him more now because of uh, Kenneth Williams, but at the time I didn't appreciate Kenneth Williams as him. Yeah. Was. I don't know if there's any left, but Ron kind of gave me a, a good heads up today that Westminster are doing all 10 of the Queen's Beast £5 coins uh, for a single price. And he explained that a few of them were going for quite a marked increase on their own already. And they weren't available elsewhere. So I think it's 145 which you could pay in for in installments as well. So which was a nah bad. I, I, I thought no. I, and for once, I didn't even bother pricing up and seeing what they were going for on, that, on eBay. Uh, I just thought no, and within 10 minutes, I'd ordered them. It's always a bloody way, isn't it? <laughs> I blame Ron for that, but if he hadn't shown me now, I'd never have known. Oh, so we've got the that's the tower now. So the only one we're missing is that the palace? That's the palace, yeah. But I reckon, oh, another flopsy, no, Benjamin Bloody Bunny, Benjamin I mean. Bunny. I was gonna uh, say, <laughs> flopsy. Yeah. 
You forgot to do the installments. I, I, I didn't do the installments on purpose. I bloody hate it when I accidentally do that. Then I wonder what the hell's gone on. And then for several months, however long it takes, they take a bit out. I prefer it to be taken in one hit or not at all, really. No way you stand a bit better. Right. Come on, we're doing so well to get across the mat to halfway quite quickly, and now it just seems to be drying up. Oh, no, there's Psycho Cat. Well, I was giving you the heads up because the last blue card bull sold for 210. <laughs> yeah, in that course, yeah. M most definitely. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it was it was a good heads up, and yeah, I, I got one. I'll have a look, but like I said when I messaged you, one, I might just turn them around if they do a pound listing or something, and just see whether I can turn them around quickly, get my money back, and possibly a few extra shekels on top. But come on, Steve, what are you doing? I know it's tried up something rotten, hasn't it? Another Brexit. Oh, Brexit. We don't want that one. No. Top four Olympics would be better. And they haven't sold out in 15 days. I'm sending my back. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, that's the problem. We don't know how many they've got. They could be totally and utterly flooding the market and making the prices drop to beggary. But uh, what we got? We got five bags left. Uh, my handful, so. Half a dozen. Let's see what we can get. Come Even on. if we just fill this side of the Brexit. Brexit. Benjamin Bloody, Bloody Bunny. Bunny. Brexit. Brexit. Boris. <laughs> Do you know what it says in the back in really small letters? Paid, for my, paid for my flap myself. Yeah. Just <laughs> yes. yes, honest. Uh, there's another simples. Nope, just look, they must have sold out HMS. Ah, okay. Well, the fact they don't have any left might be a better sign then, because we know what shenanigans they did with the Jamama puddle ducks, don't we? So. Mm -hmm. That's the towers again. Not the towers, St. Paul's even. Yeah, St. Paul's. God, this is getting painful. Well, it wasn't as painful as Scott's blessing. Yeah, I know, but that wasn't too bad. And then, ugh, just, just went a bit peed tongue. I can't remember the last time I had oh, those medals, Victoria Cross. I can't remember the last had that time one. Decent, well, any 2018, actually. Potter? I have another Taylor or Tittle Mouse? That alone flops your pizza. I haven't had one of these for ages. Everything seems to have dried up. Yeah. But hopefully, now that we're starting to get back to normal, is yep. Well, I, I got coins on tap now, and I had yeah. a nice conversation with my bank online a minute ago, and hopefully they're furnishing me now with a change card. So, should they bring out Brexit, oh, the Brexit. Team GB fifty p, I might be able to then just hammer an order into the post office and get them as they come out in uncirculated bags. Mm. At least getting a, getting a change card organised in good time at least gives me the potential opportunity of doing that. Very true. At least one in the bag. Come on. Yeah. 
Nope. Nope. It is what it is. And you said Jack Shitton. Uh, diddly. Diddly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. diddly Good job I didn't say it, didn't eh? Diddly squat. Yeah, diddly squat. Good job I didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't hear it. No, I didn't. I could have a really nice surprise in the last bag, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, it'll be a bloody Boris. No, 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 Dilly Squat to finish off. Well, there's well, we a way to get across the mat. There's a way of getting around this. Let's do the 50s all in one go. Right. I'll keep the mat on the go as well. I'm pretty confident now I'm going to fill the mat. <laughs> Put this on the chair. Put a few there. It's got to make my mountains next. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to have to make a little pile. And the reason we do this it's so people can see that we do not cheat. Well, they're all sealed bags anyway. They're all sealed bags, so it makes a little odds. Right, I'm determined to fill this mat. If I don't fill the mat now, and we have a, a bag of 250 like Scott had, that'll be so uh -oh. important. So we're set. Oh, there oh. we go. Taylor Peter Rabbit. 2017. So that's automatically filled one slot. <laughs> Ron's telling Belfast he'll sell um, his set for 300 quid. Oh, he didn't <laughs> Yeah. So that's two out of the first bag. There's another oh. two pulls, but. Oh, this bag, we've got two for the mat. Whereas it? We didn't get two for the mat out of the last six bags. So that's a good sign. What's the odds? Another oh, train station. Another train I was going to say, I, I can't believe there's like that many at the train station came out this hunt and not one in the last one. And yeah. again, Tiggy went Tingy, Tiggy's in the last one. I've got two here now as well. Oh, the mobile disco just gone past mine. Huh. Is that allowed in COVID conditions? <laughs> well, they're not. They're actually underneath my archway. Underneath the arches. Uh, we haven't gone into the two pounds yet, so you don't have to talk about the arches yet. Uh, are we talking about my arches? Are they sitting there with a little, I mean, years ago you used to sit about where you get all blasted, didn't you? Not yeah. these days. Is no. it about with your phone under people's thingy? Blasting a bit, Rave. <laughs> Nowadays, you sit around and go to a blast, you get stabbed or something, don't you? Whoops. Boom, 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 boom. Another one of the tower. Big grotty, but. We must have a palace out of this 250, surely. There's got to be. Diddly squat. Come on. Come 
go that's my third tingy winkle and they're all shiny as shiny can be so hey go guides yeah i was gonna say yay we have a different one we have girl guides that's that bit filled Another oh, flop. Benjamin. A Benjamin. I don't know why I keep on saying a flopsy. I would not be feeling so down and defeated if I kept on pulling out flopsies. I'd be pretty I was happy. gonna say if you kept on pulling out flopsies. Yeah. And not bloody bunnies. Well, I'm certainly getting my first share of diggies. Yes, you sure are. I like Tiggy Wingo. So, uh, and it's been voted Britain's favourite animal as well. So, another. Roger uh, Bonner's girl? Well, we've got three quarters of the mat done now, but we have cheated slightly in regards to it being one bag. Oh, we're just doing all the 50s in one go. Yeah. So technically, it's not really cheating. You're only cheating if. Oh, is, was that a Beatrix Potter? Go the other in your hand. No, other way. Oh, I'm like going to lose you. If I got oh. a handful of them with your heads down, I, I'd turn them around. So. It just looked like it was an anniversary coin for a second. No. Nah. Billy, look. We'll be okay. nice if there was one. Yeah, it's always a nice coin to find the anniversary. Speaking of which, a duck would be quite nice. I've never seen one of them in a in a hunt for quite a while. The one of the tower. tower. We need a palace. Most certainly we do. Just so we have a full set. I mean, even any of the potters, to be quite honest. We haven't is found a Christopher Ironside. We haven't found scouts. There's, there's loads of basics that we haven't found. Mm -hmm. Well, we have plenty of bags, so we will keep hunting. Uh, not too bad, nothing special yet, but That's well and truly monkey and rubbed. Psycho cat again. Tom Kitten. That's not. Do we have him on the mat? Yeah. There's, there's a Christopher Ironside. Oh, there you go. I knew we'd get one of them. At least we're on the very end of the mat. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, actually, well, have a diversity, yeah. Oh, I've just seen Palace. Oh, 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 yay! We have a full set, full set of paddies, and a couple of spare train stations on top. So, Oh, 
Row of gags again. We do have that one on the map. So. Yeah. Whoops. That's the bucket. Oh, that was Floyd's birthday today. Who's? Floyd's. Oh, you don't? Yeah, he's two. That's an odd uh, 50p. <laughs> yeah, I had one of these in the last bag as well. Yes. Another phone coin. Oh, another train oh, station. Train station again. Well, uh, we obviously know that the same as a 50p then, don't we? So, oh, what oh, even is it? Oh, diversity. Well, it probably went one. close enough to if it's going through the coin centre being bagged up. What even is it? Oh, it's uh, Maggie, uh, it's uh, Romanian, I think. Or Hungarian, something like that. Oh. But it's only a cheap and nasty coin. If it was the <coughs> Swiss franc type coin, I'd be much happier. Obviously, somebody was 50 pence short. So, oh, do you know what? That weighs the same as that. We chuck it in. Does it not make you think what they are they doing in them cash centers that are foreign court? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, oh, Paddy at the palace again. Wait all day for a palace and then two come along. Yeah, it, it makes you wonder because they have all the digital scanning machines and all that, lasers and all that. They must know what's going on and they must be able to pull out for and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same when you find fakes and see the bugs. Yeah. It is irritating, but... It does make you wonder. And that's because there's someone at the cash centre who goes aboard a lot and then when he's on his <coughs> night shifts, hey! Oh! We and have an Olympic handball. Oh, now my happy boy. There we go. Yeah, someone could go to work at the cash center at night, and throughout the course of the evening, he could throw in 200 of these and replace them with 250p's. Not saying that that's happened, but I was gonna say, I don't think they would actually get out of the um, yeah, no, but it, it makes you wonder when. This is from the same cash centre, the same time, and I've pulled out two of these in this week. Yeah, exactly. very true. Very true. There must be a lot of that circulation in the cash centre. Let's see if we can find yeah, two more, you. and we will have filled them out. And there's a Taylor Peter Rabbit 17. I'm happy I've got a handball. Quite. Handball and fill them out. That would be good. Archery is, yes, technically an Olympic, but... <laughs> it's still an Olympic. Yeah. I don't really rate it as uh, an Olympic. Well, it's still classed as an Olympic sport. Yeah. There's yet another... Have you ever Two spaces, and it would have taken two full 250 bags in order to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no guarantee that we've done it yet. Nope. I'd hope that by this stage we would have filled them out and been filling up all the gaps in between by now, but it was not to be. There we go. We wait, all that time we wait for a palace, and then I've got three. And three come there. along. Yeah. Definitely like buses. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. 
Another psycho cat. Tom Kitten. Oh. Getting a lot of bust. Come on! Four bags left. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do it. We only want two coins. Well, I mean, a Sherlock. Yeah, well, that's yeah. another one we haven't seen. Another Boris. We don't want Boris. We're sick of Boris. Yeah. Sick of hearing about Boris. I think we've got better things to worry about. Yeah, at least we don't have to hear about Boris and Trump in, in the same time now. So. Yeah, very true. I'm trying to think what else. My mind's gone blank. Do you know what I mean? You just, you're thinking, what have we not got? <laughs> 1066, here's things. Yeah. Um... God, Ooh. there isn't God on the coin. No, no, they're back here. Oh, we haven't had a. Oh, well, we haven't had a. Uh, yeah, Milner's Tower. Who's he else? Oh, one spot left. Can we do it? Another Tiggy. Tiggy Wing Call. Well, I'm feeling lucky with this bag. I don't know why. Come on, don't let me down. No, it's going to let me down. I was going to say, <laughs> I think it's going to let you down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, as... going the, we're going to save the best for last. Well, this is the last bag, so yes. So, fingers crossed. But I only had canoeing to be from Tuesday, and I've got archery and handball. So, that well, yeah, I consider it to be an improvement on Tuesday. Oh, and we haven't had Ball of Britain. We never thought Yay, that one. We have filled the mat. <laughs> It took a hell of a lot of effort, but we have. I've got Olympics. two Olympics. JC, yeah, there we go. God, I didn't think, that, what's the odds we're doing in the last bag? I said we were seeing the best for last, because that is Scott's, is that not Scott's favourite coin? As it well? is, yeah. And so he's still it. with us. He's still with us, even though he's poorly. He's like, oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, That's my gonna... coin. I'm keeping Paddy at the station um, because I'm, I'm selling these as sets and uh, these are the hardest two to get hold of. I keep on to lose. I can always find the other ones. Keeping the diversity. Uh, keep the regionals, always do. Keep Peter Rabbit. Keep the Tiggies. And obviously I'll keep the two Olympics. And I keep Benjamin Britton and lose Glasgow's just until I can confirm exactly how many clans could come yeah. off i have so i'm not 100 certain i mean i've got too many don't forget to take those two olympics off the mat before oh, you yeah. the rest in just the tub. about to, just about to uh, put it with my canoe in so that's my hard-earned coins from the week uh and everything else on here i'm pretty damn sure can go stay back in i'm trying to think yep. what's on well, there's not much point putting this back in because I put my coins through the change machine and the change machine doesn't care whether it's the right weight or not. It'll care that it's not 50p. And that's how the change centre should be working. Well. 
So, I've up, the bank confirmed that these come from the cash centres, and they don't bank them, uh, bag them in house unless they have them. And they said they only did that on the one occasion, which was after I fired them all into them after the bank holiday. So, these should be a good variety of two pound coins. But as they are in bags like this, there's always a chance I might find a hoard. But I don't think so. We've certainly got one open bag. I've got coins running loose, so there's certainly an open bag somewhere. Oh, that's a good omen, though. I was going to say, that is a good coin that I've just seen. <laughs> Did you see the top one, then? Yes. How? That is actually dazzling. Yeah, particularly good condition. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's a very good star thing, that is. Yeah, funny how Ron says, funny how we can put them back in the machine, but someone manages it. I yeah, know it's that, like that's that's why I, I'm always a suspicious sod in regards to what else goes on elsewhere. I potentially have to cash centers themselves, but hey, I wouldn't have thought so. Hi, coin, much. happy dude, sixty six. I'm just gonna know what to do with the bags. All right, those are other loose ones. There's some more loose ones. Nothing decent there. Is there any more? Oh, I think that's a bag they came out of. I was going to say, see one on the top, Steve. Oh, yep. Oh, and one there. It looks like we've got more than one bag split open somewhere, but that one's Possibly. Stemmed. Oops, let's get this bag. All right. We will see as we go along. I'm just going to... Sorry, I didn't work to shove the coin bags because obviously I don't want to just throw them in the big bin with like the big plastic bags because Florence oh. 90. Florence 90 gown. I've got static other plastic bags. I can't even drop them. They stick to my hands. I've seen another extremely shiny mm. one. Yeah. What's the odds? Crown and sword? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's yep. coin? Yep. What the dickens is Charles? It sure is. It's come to join us. Oh, and St. Paul's World War yeah. II, is it? World War yeah. II? Yep, six years. Anniversary of the end of. Oh my back is aching like an absolute bitch now. Whoops, sorry. I hate knocking a camera. Yeah, and you've you've knocked it so you can't see the top of the map now. It's off kilter, isn't it? So, there we go. Shiny. Oh, oh check this. Nope. Hang on. That yes. right where my thumb is is a fifteen. Slight um, I thought for a second it was you know, rotational. I was going to say I thought it was a rotation. But... It was so slight as to give it near his damage. Then not much point is there, but no, maybe not. Optical illusion. Well, I say this feels like a heavy bag. That's not what you expect in the bag of two pounds, is it? One pound coins. Um, 
I think I'll be having <laughs> a word with the um The good thing is I can well, that's yeah, I know, but I'm concerned. Though, if they, I haven't counted any of these bags of coins, and if they've done it on weight alone, how much is that going to weigh compared to a two pound bag? It seems to weigh more. That's why I noticed it. It's settling about one sixty eight. Settle. Ron saying check for left is lol. One seventy two. There's one of these. A lot less. I might actually count these up at the end. Stuff it because I'm not going to be ripped off like that. No, no. That, that is bizarre. That's never happened before. How, I mean, that's a sealed bag as well. So, I mean, how on earth has that managed to get in a bag of two pound coins? Well, yeah, but it's not. There's another one of these. It's not sealed from a cash center kind of seal. It's still like this. So, that could have been done in branch. Could have. I was told you haven't been, but you could have. Well, they say that they're not. By the way, you don't shove in the wrong coinage into a bag of twos. No. That just seems wrong, but hey. I'll see what I'm doing tomorrow and how much time I have on my hands. And I'll count up everything that came out of that bag. And if it's wrong, I'd be, I should be having words. It's bad enough that when I open it, all those loose coins and stuff all over the place anyway, wasn't it? There's another mm. reason. If the so attention to detail is so poor that that happens, then maybe they shouldn't be blooming doing it. Another crown and sword. What's the odds? <laughs> Well, the first coin that was loose is the H, you know, the HMS, yeah, HMS, which is the best coin we've seen so far. Everything else has been relatively naff, and we've had charities, including a bag of £20 of £1 coins. You're a fraud, Steve. So it started off oh so well, and to bits. I've only got... Oh, okay. Am I still frozen? No, you started again. All right. Yeah, it started off oh so well, and then just... Went to pot really. So. Crown and sword. Crown and sword. So I'm just going to mute myself a minute, Steve. Okay, okay. Crown and sword. Yep. In pants. Right, I'm back. There's going to be something in this bag. I haven't found one for the map for ages. And yeah, and it's we called got... a technologies. Because <laughs> yeah. we haven't got one of them on the mat. <laughs> so we might as well have one on the mat. Oh. Oh. Great fire of London. Sticky over there. This guy forks or the dartboard, as we now call it. Compare plot. The dartboard. That, I think, is I fake. It. Yes, Billy Joe, eat 
the kind of bueno. The colours just look wrong on it. And it's supposed to be, a, did I say 2015 as well? In fact, I might have some of this galaxy. I don't know, this ain't 2015. We know the 2015s are normally gleaming. Yeah, 2015. Well, the 2015s are normally gleaming and really good. Whereas this looks as weird as hell. Yeah. Have you tried this one, Steve? This is the Galaxy Caramel or something? Bar? Okay. I've had Cabby's Caramel, yeah, loads of times. No, this is a, the big bar. Oh, no, I haven't seen one like that. Crown and sword. What's a Dickens is Charles again? Mm. Crown and sword. Yep. I can say the M one's going to be a crown and sword. Well, that's quite nice. So, is anybody a dog? Or a milk chocolate or a white chocolate person. I do dark. I'm, I, I fall back on milk unless it's a high quality dark. I like the dark chocolate with chili and I like the dark chocolate with raspberry. Yeah, that's nice. You want raspberry? Oh, I was about to say we haven't had one of them. I believe it's raspberry. Normally, it's easy to get across the mat with two pounds, even though there's a struggle with them. Much fewer of them. Well, there's the empty bag from earlier. If this kind of mess I'm dealing with here makes up the 200 impulse, then that's uh, that's. 500 I mean and that's fine but I'll still be a little bit miffed the way that they've done it because it's Your best mate Brunel prepared by an idiot a loose one there that's very Moorish pretty sure that's probably fake but hey I was not to wonder why I was supposed to do and die they gave it to me they gave it back runs a milk chocolate or a white person You really need to try the Galaxy Caramel. Tell you one thing, I've got a Bourneville orange. Yeah, I've seen that. From my uh, parents in law for Easter. So a big Bourneville chocolate uh, orange Easter egg with a uh, chocolate bar, orange Bourneville. That's really mm. nice. The, so, um, I think the dairy milk one. Is the dairy milk that's brought it out? Um, a chocolate orange one. Well, I know I eat chocolate oranges. I, I do like those, but that's, that's the chocolate that's orange on milk. So I was surprised when I had the, the dark and it tasted perfect. So it tasted nice, if anything. But darker chocolate does because it's. It's not as bitter as people think, but it's a lot darker content, higher content of cocoa. So. Yeah, the raspberry one is nice. I do like it's the nice because one. you don't need to eat an entire bar like I do with milk chocolate. You feel full with half a bar with dark, and then you leave it twice. So. But I don't know, I've only had about three quarters of a bar there. Oh, I'd be the move for a piece of chocolate, but I'm like, oh, that's quite nice, that bit of chocolate. Oh, my 20 pounds, one pounds as well. Uh, no, the, my main failing nowadays is patties, not pasties, but patty, P A T T E, uh, from Sainsbury's. They do it like a Caribbean jerk chicken and a jerk beef. They are gorgeous. It's like a yellowish, because they must use turmeric a lot in the pastry. But it's like a short crust pastry with meat filling. Chethic Industries. Oh, we haven't had one of them before. 
That's my failing. They're about 80p each in Sainsbury's and I eat them left, right, and center. And Darwin. Oh. Last, last bag, we've got two coins to fill the half. Half the side. Yep. Not the best in the world, but who's the keepers? Very shiny. Yep. Definitely keep those and so I know exactly which ones I kept. So I know the value. So when I if I get a chance tomorrow, I might actually count that up. But that's intriguing me now after they did that. That's just confused the hell out of me. I would check to see that what um how many pound coins is actually in there as well. Yeah, well, I'll check it all tomorrow. And if it, if it makes up the, the right amount, then so be it. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But the fact that the bags were unsealed and there's, a, there's pounds in there as well, that's just weird. Right, stop there. Move the camera. But if it's under. I will definitely be having words. Boom, 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 boom. Push. There we go. Push, push, push. So we So we're going to take. Can I get AK? And puff on his yeah, now just have a quick check on these. Oh, if any of you, I can't imagine there is any of you, but if any of you has loads of money and you don't know what to spend it on, <laughs> I noticed when I was on the Royal Mint site today, I was, I was only on there just to, to see if I, I was going to, because I've done a coin now which incorporates all of the Queen's Beasts. Uh, obviously, they finished the five pound seven because I just bought the five pound seven from Westminster. I thought I'd have a quick look at that email they sent me in regards to that coin. We're doing a 10 kilo of version of it, price upon request. Yeah, that'll be uh, only a seen... pound for the two kilo. So, is it is obviously best part of a million? I would have thought for the 10 kilo. It took four have you seen the 10,000 pound coin they've made? No, 10 kilo. Gold coin. No, no, it was in. Let's see if I can find it. Right here, that, that, that probably just had the, the denomination of ten thousand pound on it. They've only made one of them. Uh, the the one down from there, they've made four of them, but that one on his own, they made just the one. And it says a price available upon request, but they said they spent four 400 hours just polishing it. Uh, but whilst I was having a look at that, you got a completed medal in the set. Oh, did I? Oh, that's cool. I didn't realise that as well. Look, I was going to buy a couple of them packaged, uh, and I thought I'll add in the year set. And then, as every time I look at year sets, I always have a little flit about because you can still get the silver proof 2018 year set for 640 quid, but you pay 640 quid for the 2018 commemorative year set. Which has the five pound coin, the fifty p, and the three two pound coins, or you pay six hundred and forty pounds for the year set silver again, silver proof, which has those five coins plus all the definitives. There you go. So it's exactly the same price, but you once you get the full thirteen coins, the other one you ain't. Yeah, that's the ten kilo. Ten thousand pounds. No, it's ten kilos of pure gold. It's worth the best part of a million. Ten thousand pounds is just the price they put on the back of it. Just like they put a pound on the silver. Oh, four hundred hours to produce. Oh, it's already polish. been snapped up. No, polish. No, this is Queen's Beast coin weighs in at ten kilograms. Took four hundred hours to produce. And has already been snapped up. Okay. They certainly said one which they mentioned the polishing time on it as well. I thought it was that one. Um, four days of polishing. Four days, right. The coin has already been sold. Well, yeah, the, the, the one. Mint <laughs> did not give details about the sale or buyer, 
was said a coin of this caliber and craftsmanship will be priced in the region of six figures. Yeah, has to be. The two two kilo uh, two, two kilo kilo coin is at retails for one hundred and sixty three thousand. But it says for those whose budgets would not have stretched to buy the coin, versions of the design are available in a range of finishes with prices starting at thirteen pounds. Yeah, that's a package coin. As Ron said, me and me and Ron went halves in here. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure yeah. he has did. No, the only problem is, Anna, is only in hindsight, once it arrived this morning, that after I chopped it in half using a, a jigsaw, I then thought maybe he intended us to keep it together. Um, little, little jagged parts in the post, one, by the way. It cost me a bomb to send that special delivery, five kilos of gold. I just hope it didn't go missing because it only insured for 500 quid. <laughs> Yeah, ridiculous coin, but it's quite nice how they got the coin for 13, which has all of the, the beasts around it. Yeah. I didn't realize that was in the pack that we ordered, though, Ron. That, that's, that's cool. But either way, I, I was looking at it, and I thought, yeah, I'll stick in the ear second. I'm going to stick them in every time I do an order from there because I build them up. Not not as many as I did for the eight last years with the Team GB, but I, I, I think that the decimalization one with the mashing head on the back is going to be a desirable one in years to come but i think the team gb is hands up hands above more important because that's not out in any format apart from in the albums whereas the mashing unless you're looking at the flip side of it the obverse it's the same coins for all intents and purposes just different heads on it but I couldn't. I it said on loads of emails and stuff that I was looking at. Loads of sites said free person packing if you spend forty five, free person packing if you spend fifty or whatever. But I was I, mine was well over a hundred in my basket, and they're still trying to charge me a fiver. So I thought they could stuff off. None of the things are going to run out over the course of the next few months, or probably the year. So hope with postman's an honest one. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine having five kilos of gold on in your doorstep? Yeah, the smell value. Yeah, work about. It's yeah, you know, someone. You know, it's a one-off. They know it's a one-off. Just like Damien Hurst or something doing something like that school with diamonds. This is a piece of a one-off piece of artwork, which Ooh. is made of precious metals. Yeah. Pretty sure that most of them will be a game run. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got three sets. I'll just pick them up. I'll probably end up with a dozen or so sets by the end of the year, if not more. But unless I'm going to get them free postage, they can stuff off. Because, you know, right now you can buy the 2020 year set still. And you can, I don't know whether you can still buy the 2019. You possibly can. Maybe not. But 2020 is obviously still available and we're nearly into May. So they're never going to run out during this year of that year set. They're never going to run out of that two, uh, the five pound coin with the shield, uh, the Queen's Beasts on it. Not for the foreseeable. So I'll just wait. Yeah, maybe through President Coin Club, but I, I get cash back on. Uh, well, I suppose it's only about two and a half percent cash back. Yeah. I guess some at some stage, but I'm, I'm glad I waited anyway because the fact that they're going to screw me over for a five and made me think, well, stuff you, I'll do it some other stage then. And as a result, we've now done this stream and you told me, don't forget to use Welcome 10. Huh. What, well, still? Are you sure, huh? That's £5.50. I'll pay for the postage. I'll be happy with that. I thought I was only for new purchases a good chance of this is that on the what the i got a letter this morning um about the set i just thought it was a load of rubbish ripped, 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 ripped in the bin didn't read it properly <laughs> no the annual year sets right now 55 pound yeah but the, the 2018 ones, which were 55 pound, those are now selling in the region of 170. That's only 2018. 
I think this was my letter, a, a guaranteed. I think it was sort of like a guaranteed set or something stupid like that. Well, they were bad. They'd be about all year. They'd be about five months into next year. So. Mm. Oh, I haven't washed my fingertips. Have I? I was going to say, you need to wash your hands. Yeah. Wow. I had to buy another 2020 proof set and did the switcheroo because I looked at mine properly and the GB was messy. <laughs> I wonder if I can coin a poundstone. Yeah, I don't know if it's coin. Coin. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, that's fair. If, you, if you're paying hard, hard doctors, things, they should give you what you ordered. So. And if it's filthy, then definitely swap it. Well, we're down to eight, Han. We've done the coins. My back is not for me. I was going to say, I'm going to start seizing up. That's uh, it. You know what to use, don't you? Here we go. Do a bit of WD forty. That'll be fine. I don't. Does that work on knees and hips? Well, I can massage your thighs with olive oil if you want. Yeah. It's good preparation before I cook. <laughs> I don't know why everyone looks at cannibals in, in such. All a right, Hannibal. Oh, God. I think you said bark it now. Mine's. Yeah, well, I haven't got my chair so I can go rock backwards. I've already gone on lock because my back's bloody murdering me, but hey. Yeah, well, once I um, clear out a certain room, which will then become an office, and then I'll have one of them, <clears throat> not a thing is that sort of stretch back a bit. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, one of these is cool. Scott's got like a gamer's chair now as well, but. This was quite inexpensive for me, but uh, from Amazon. Well, quite quickly. there's a gaming chair in the room. Well, this was only about 50 or 60 quid, and it's absolutely fantastic. Armrest the lock. Well, there's, there's a gaming chair actually in the room. I just need to sort the room out. Um, and I will have one of those, you know, type of chairs. Yeah. However, at the minute, I've just got one of these. Crown right there, we go. Oh, leather back to the chair. I got pillow at the back for lumber support. Now I just lean back, watch leads flash all the teams or draw against them, like you do. It's quite funny because since they had the European Super League kind of malarkey and chaos, we played three of their teams in the last three games we played. We beat Man City. Mm. And we we drew against Man U and we drew against Liverpool. So, oh, I've and stopped watching. It's not the same. We one of the big six. It's not the same. It's not the same without the crowd or anything like that. And I just think it's it's boring to watch now. Don't like it. Yeah, I know, but the crowds are going to be coming back soon. We'll have we'll have a bit more atmosphere. Yeah. Although it's always funny when they say you can have it with or without crowd noise. Why would you want it with no crowd noise? It's like a training session. It's just ridiculous. But I keep scaring Ollie when we score. <laughs> so it's like, I think I might get banned. My popzilla, oh my. Oh my, oh my what? It may just be kind of lamenting the fact that I'm a Leeds fan. So. <laughs> Although they came on here thinking we were talking coins and we, we did we just talk football now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were, we, were, we, were, we were about to say goodbye, weren't we, Sue? We were. 
been a pleasure people and um, I, I mean it's in the nicest possible way but see you all next tuesday yes we will see you all next tuesday and hopefully we'll, we'll be the yep. three amigos once again see you on the flip side peeps until next time uh, Vida Sen. pet yeah. <laughs> Wait, <amen. laughs> bye bye ham and pineapple pizza the way in shake man yeah right that one bye everyone bye <laughs>